ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing tonight? All right, that one guy back there is doing great. How's everybody else doing? You are on the luxurious, luxurious seventh floor. Wonderful. I appreciate everybody's attendance here. So first of all, welcome to the second Veris Community Dinner. The second. Two years ago, we were on this exact same uh, balcony here overlooking uh, beautiful Houston. Oh, Houston, Austin. Oh. Overlooking beautiful Austin just two years ago. If anybody was here then, I will say it was much hotter that day. For those that remember, it was quite miserable, but a wonderful experience. For those that were here two years ago, it was the first time that most of us had seen each other for the first time ever in life. The benefit of that community project being worldwide, we all sit behind that computer. We hear the voices on our marketing chats and dev chats, but we never actually know what anyone really looks like. We don't even really know their names, even when we showed up this time. We had to refresh everybody on who we were, what our Discord name was. I walk around with the name of Tango, for those that remember uh, and, and continue to call, hey, Tango. So my name is Will. Very nice to meet everybody. Hey, Tango. Oh, hey, 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 thanks, thanks. It, so it is funny, uh, you know, as, as any community project where you are distributed and decentralized all over the world as people and you come together and here we are again for the second time with many new faces again so first to everybody that made the trip even if you live in Austin or Houston or wherever you may have come from there's people that have come from the UK Germany all the different states a round of applause for every single one of you. I'm gonna come back to our community members in a second, and I'm gonna do something that I did two years ago and have everybody introduce themselves again by their Discord name. Just so we at least have, we do have a lot of people. It's gonna be quick. We're just gonna, we're gonna round robin it. So I'll, I'll run around as fast as I can. It'll be like supermarket sweep. Um, now, secondary, for all of you that are not community members yet, a round of applause for you for coming out and supporting Verus and overall supporting the entire blockchain and crypto industry. This stuff that we are doing here today out at that convention center will have ripple effects for the entirety of history. We are in the beginning phases of the true capabilities of decentralization. We all know it. It's continuing to be built and changed every single day, every single month. Things are not the same as it looked six months ago. Things will not be the same as it looks today, six months from now. So a round of applause to those that came out in support in any way, whether you're running a company that has to do with decentralization, whether you're looking to build something or whether you're just looking to get more information on anything to do with the crypto, thank you for coming and a round of applause for every one of you. All right, now, real quick, we'll do this very quick. Raise your hand if you're already a Veris community member that's on Discord. Look at all this. All right, I want your Discord name and I want where you're from if you're comfortable with giving at least where you're from. If not, it's okay, just your Discord name. Winnie Mandala, Lisbon. Dog Racer, Austin, Texas. Keep your hands up, guys. I can't remember. Come on. Crypto 278, New Jersey. Crypto 278, New Jersey. Shazain from UK. Horny Guy 69. <laughs> uh, not your OnlyFans, oh, yeah. or, or, oh, 
oh. or your only fan. Let's oh. let's get your Discord name. Oh, sorry, Munkin. <laughs> From? Tipton. Right here, right here. X-59 RT, New Jersey. Oh. Mike Toon, Seattle. Castle Jack, Seattle. Decal four, Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Brainchild, Nomad. Shady Nasty, Las Vegas. Ingle Owl, Las Vegas. Gripicorn, Idaho. Sorry, I couldn't get to you. Uh, Jason, 16, Dallas. Uh, Jude from Germany. Max from Harlem. Joe Fluhart.brc from Germany. Oop, this way. Justin from uh, Toronto. Stanley Canuck, Toronto. Uh, OX7 from Kazakhstan. Ka Kazakhstan. You have the furthest distance right now. It was Germany earlier in the first speech. Michael Jr. from Toronto. Asher from Portland. Cyber Trucker, Houston. Real Shadow, Raleigh, North Carolina. Rosa, Raleigh, North Carolina. Look at that. North Carolina. Houston, see I said it earlier. Prague, Kazakhstan. Oh, we got one more. Uh, New York. New York, all over the world, right there. That is a worldwide community without any hesitation, without any doubt, right? So one of the questions I get, oh, for me, sorry, yes. Uh, Tango 808 uh, from the UK, well, uh, for not from, the UK. I live there now. <laughs> So what, one question I get all the time, out on the floor talking to people, where are you headquartered? How about that, right? Where are you headquartered? Well, that's, a, that's a quite, a, quite an interesting question, and I thank you for asking that. We have no headquarters because we're not a company. We're not a DAO. We are a completely community project. That right there absolutely floors people. I will tell you, what that means to so many people when you start to talk about the passion. Oh, hello. Uh, check, check, check. Too much passion. All right. That's all right. Uh, I can talk loud while he fixes it. We got a backup. Oh. One second while he unwraps these Christmas lights. I don't, I know. There you go. All right. Here. Oh, here. Yeah, where is he? Where is he? Consilience. France. <laughs> All right, so one thing, you know, you get is, uh, you know, I tell people, no headquarters, no company, and they are... This is a terrible, what is this, Fisher, Fisher Price microphone right here, guys. So what, what they understand is what they see the passion. They see that understanding. When I talk to them about really sticking to some of the notions and ideologies of Satoshi and that he or they or whatever it may be would be proud of what we have accomplished. Years later, looking at what that design was, that white paper, and what we have accomplished and the passion of our community to bring that all together. That's what floors people. The technology, yes, without a doubt, it stands on its own above so many others. But beyond that, it's the passion of the community that flew out here on their own dime, is out there in the booth, unpaid, losing money from probably their regular jobs or having to take leave instead of that vacation with the family to wherever you want to go, here you are in Austin telling people about Varus. So that level of commitment, that level of, of passion is amazing and it floors people. They don't even comprehend it in today's decentralized world. They don't. 
they, they, they don't even understand how the booth even happened, how we raised money from community members with donations. It is just unbelievable, the story that will one day hopefully be told about Varus all those years, the hard work that was put on the backs of the developers day after day to meet those deadlines that were never deadlines, because it's ready when it's ready, right guys? <laughs> it's ready when it's ready. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't want to get too uh, off topic here because Oink may show up somewhere out of nowhere and tell me I'm in the wrong channel. So, um, so I, I don't want to get, get way, too, way too off of what I'm doing, but I'm going to hand this over to a wonderful, wonderful human being, a legend in the IT world. And him and I just had a conversation about that, his accomplishments. And he is one of the most humble human beings about what he has done for the IT world, what he has done for technology in general throughout all of his years. He sits humble. He doesn't want to just pontificate about his accomplishments of the past, but always look to the future of what we're willing to bring to this industry. And I still say, Mike, people want to hear about that. You are well respected in this community, well respected in multiple areas of the technological world. And when I tell people about that as well, they are also floored that somebody with such a pedigree of the tech world is still out there making ripple effects in so many industries. So, I urge him to continue to talk about that, to talk about his past accomplishments because it shows what this community and the people have as a capability to bring forth under that lead development. He is our captain, Mike Tutangi. Come on up, buddy. All right, there goes Tango. Thank you, Tango. Uh, Will, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we did have that conversation just a little bit ago. And uh, I want to say, say a couple things, actually. Um, I will actually pontificate a little bit on something. But I want to say that uh, for everyone who was able to be here at this dinner. Um, Closer? OK. Or louder? For, for everyone who was able to be here at this dinner, uh, we appreciate you. We had about 10 times oversubscribed uh, people wanting to actually come to the dinner. And we worked really hard to try and, and have people come here who were, first of all, everybody in the Varus community who came to consensus was able to be here. So if there's someone who is in the various community and not here, it was by choice. Because that this is our community dinner, an intimate gathering of people in the community. But at the same time, we wanted to make it open for people at consensus. So if you're here, we appreciate you. We, we believe that you would resonate with the community. And at the end of the day, a few people actually didn't show up. And so we're glad that we chose you and you came. And so I, I do want to have a round of applause for you again. Thank you. Now I'll pontificate for just a minute. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. I've been in software for, you know, I don't mind saying about four decades, maybe a little bit longer, you know, uh, building some, some people here actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> some people here actually uh, knew me long, long time ago when I was driving around a, a computer-aided design uh, startup van and was developing you know, 3D computer-aided design workstations and, and, uh, 
And so, yeah, there, there are some people in the community who actually go way back. But um, that was not actually what I wanted to pontificate on as much as this really important thing. So, you know, when we talk about different things that I did, uh, I started the Java platform at Microsoft, you know, and actually wrote a lot of the Java VM and then continued to manage it until Sun sued Microsoft and then I was like yanked off the project and we went through a whole big process and then I started the .NET platform at Microsoft. There were two recognized founders, one of them was on the tool side, I was on the platform side. And we had a little conversation about that and that was, you know, I think, I think Will said, well that was just a job for you, but you know, people wanna hear about it. It was not just a job, it was not just a job. In fact, um, I believed what I thought should happen. I had strong beliefs about what I thought that platform should be. And the truth is, it didn't end up being everything that I believed that it should be. Um, and that's kind of a repeating theme that I've experienced, you know, throughout all of those years is that starting something you have this vision and that's kind of, you know, if it's, if it's your vision or if you share that vision with some number of people, because actually, even though I was necessary to found the .NET platform, the .NET platform was built by like thousands of people, actually. It, it's not like I built the .NET platform. You know, I was a founder that took all the arrows to make it possible to allow people to build what a lot of people already also believe needed to be built. And, and yet, um, there were decisions made that had to do with, you know, things can't be too cross-platform, things can't be too this or they can't be too that, and they can't threaten this of what we already have, and they can't threaten that. And always, at the end of some period of time, you start with a vision and you end with a product or a service or something that's made. And this is actually the only project that I have ever worked on, and I can say that without any reservation, that the final result where we are right now is in fact the vision that the founders and I shared when we decided that this is what we needed to do. And that is the only time in my life, in any project that I've ever been part of, where that's true. And the reason that that's true is, is in front of me right here. Because it wouldn't exist. Without maybe every single person here, it wouldn't exist. And, and at least, even if it could exist without everyone here, it wouldn't be as good as it is. And so I am grateful for everyone here, really, for helping that vision be realized, really. So thank you. And that's about all I've got, and I really appreciate it. So I hope everyone's enjoyed, and we'll continue to. So thanks. Don't go anywhere yet, Mike. But you ended that a little too short. I don't have my button buttoned yet. Right. So uh, I was asked to represent this wonderful award that you've already seen, obviously, but in front of everybody, because they didn't get a chance to it, oh. to see it. So that was, when was that? That was 2022. Uh, September? March? March. Was it March? March of 2022. A bunch of different uh, fintech uh, companies, products, services uh, were all brought in to, in one way or another, showcase their achievements and see what, and showcase what they had created out of hundreds that were looked at. It was down to only a few that were actually flown out to Ireland to continue 
uh, to give further information about their product or service. Now, now we're not just talking decentralized blockchain. We're not just talking the crypto side of fintech or DeFi. We are talking all fintech across all different platforms of every genre. Out of that, with Mike's impressive and the community coming together, not just Mike. So I'll put Mike down a couple knocks on that one. So the community came together, came up with script ideas, came up with presentations, came up with video recording, editing, all of that stuff to get the initial round out. And then Mike went out there with a few different community members, continued his presentation, and luckily walked away with this Future Horizons event 2022 Inspiration Award for most disruptive fintech technology, or that's a double tech, most disruptive fintech under Fidelity Investments, sponsored by them. So a lot of you are just seeing that now in person for the first time, which is we've all lived in that enjoyment Back in 2022, seeing it on Discord, cheering Mike along as the team went to Ireland and you know, got the good news. We all, a lot of us tuned in uh, or tried to for that live event. I don't think it ended up coming through, right? But uh, <laughs> everybody remembers that, right? Uh, but walked away victorious for most disruptive fintech out of non-crypto technologies as well. So amazing accomplishment just to show, again, that level of achievements, the disruption in the entire industry. The things that we talk about down there to the people, all across Twitter, everywhere, here's what we get. I don't believe it, right? How many times? I don't believe it, how can this be? You know, even years later, after talking to them two years ago at Consensus, it's still today, I don't believe it. The proof is in the pudding. It's there, they can use it. Awards are won, people are known about. Every day is a new day to tell somebody else about what Veris has the capability of, of doing. Being more efficient, more effective, more costly, faster to use, easier to use. Co yeah, co co <laughs> what'd I say? Co costly. Costly, cost efficient, sorry. The, the list goes on and on for what Veris can do. So again, that is just one of many we'll probably see down the road of, of the many awards uh, in physical or metaphorical of what Veris uh, will, will end up taking home. So again, enjoy your time and thanks for coming. Thank you, I wanna say one more thing. So actually, um, yeah, I didn't know that this was coming and I really, really appreciate it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get it back because I, I think I'll buy another bag or something for it. But, but um, it just kind of looks like a piece of wood maybe to some people, but I want to just say a couple things about what it actually is. So they, they really went all out to make this award. So this is uh, made from a kind of wood that only grows in Ireland and in a, like a specific place there. And it's a Celtic knot that you can see on the front. And so this is not, you know, I, I mean, it's not a trophy or an award that they're going to go and buy at an award store. It's really a beautiful piece of work. And uh, I think, uh, I think Consilience must have brought this from France, if I'm not mistaken. And, and uh, so, yeah, that... That, I love this award and, and, you know, we were the only actually decentralized Naughton company that made it into their um, group of projects to look at, that made it into the top seven and that met, then got one of the two awards that they gave out. So, um, and again, this is everyone's here. I mean, this, you know, I have it, I really appreciate having it, I'll take care of it, but I'm gonna set it down here, and anybody who wants to come up and look at it, you know, feel free. Um, so, thanks for making it possible. So, thank you.
only so I can get the last word. How do you know somebody's into blockchain? Don't worry, they'll tell you about it in the first five minutes. Have a good night.